Got a killer 1971 Dodge Charger RT 440 loaded with options, factory red car, numbers matching, rotisserie restored. We have photos of the restoration. I'll put some of them on our website. Uh, the fender tag has been decoded. This thing is really right, folks. Now, I stepped up when I bought it because of everything I just mentioned. Look at how sharp this car is. It's pristine, top to bottom, in and out. This is the right car to have. Go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where you can read the information. Take your time. Look at all the pictures top to bottom. That's where you find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the videos, subscribe and then click on the bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, years ago, I used to be cheap. I was always looking for the deal. Now I just go for the best cars I can find. And again, this thing is striking. If you're happy with a brown one or a gold one that's driver quality, yes, you can pay a lot less. Uh, but this thing's been flipped on a rotisserie. The underside is as shiny as the top side. All pristine metal, all painted gloss red. Every component under this car is restored. It's all restored to factory condition. There's no uh, changes, no uh, QA1 coilovers. It's all stock. Uh, the entire front and rear suspension and steering all rebuilt, detailed. Uh, it was done in 2014, and in 2022, it was uh, refreshened up by a Mopar collector. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum and back. E-brake assemblies all hooked up. All the fuel lines, brake lines, all that's been replaced or restored. The fuel tank looks like new. Factory type dual exhaust, even the correct mufflers. And it has like the uh, machine gun barrel exhaust tips coming out the back, which I always thought was cool. Um, you look up at the motor, it's spotless. The actual VIN number that matches the car is stamped down on the other side of the engine by the oil pan. Pictures on our website. It's not a restamp. We also checked all the castings and date codes as well. Uh, it has a 727 Torque Flight Automatic, a correct one. Uh, we just serviced that. Uh, eight and three quarter rear end. Of course, the drive shaft, the rear end, all that's painted. It's all beautiful. It's detailed like a show car underneath. Now, the body's amazing. Fit and finish is better than when it left the factory. Uh, absolutely straight. I mean, there is not a ripple, not a dent. There's no problem areas. There's no funny spots. Like right in through here can be a funny area, but it's all pristine. Door lines up beautifully. There are a couple bubbles way down here. And I'll be honest with you, that's where the seam for the quarter panel is. So there's filler there when it leaves the factory. So it's just contained right there. Moving on, this is all pristine, laser beam stri straight. I mean, I'm not seeing anything funny in this body or paint. This is gorgeous. Absolutely straight, clean, beautiful body lines. This side doesn't have bubbles, just a couple bumps. You cannot see them, but I could feel them right there. Same thing that's right in that seam. Uh, otherwise, the paint... Fit and finish is a 10. I don't see rock chips. I don't see any other issues. It's stunning. It was born bright red. That's the color this car was born. Uh, it comes with this racing mirrors. This was born with front and rear spoilers. It's on the tag. And of course, it has all the RT stripes and emblems and the uh, louvers on the hood and the hood pins. It's got a lot to dress it up. Windshield's crystal clear. All the moldings have been restored. All this trim is optional. 
up front here, the grill, the bumper, all this is in really nice shape. Everything fits right. Correct antennas, sparkling. Has 15 inch, yeah, 15 inch rally wheels of BFG tires. All the weather strips and seals were replaced. Back bumper, tail light, all that's mint. Let's open it up, give you a tour of the inside. I'm going to show you a pristine trunk compartment. Look at underneath the trunk lid. Obviously painted beautifully. G60, that's so the assembly line workers knew what size spare to put in there. With the brackets for the spoiler, the sticker, the latch, pristine. The jam, the weather strip is pristine. The entire trunk compartment, all pristine metal, painted very neatly, all painted red. Uh, we got a reproduction uh, tire. The whole jack assembly is all there in the rim. Everything's detailed and painted up nice. All the wiring, the nuts and bolts, the rear seat uh, divider. Clean and complete. That's the little extras you're paying for. You know, a lot of times you don't get a spare or... The jams are painted real slick and detailed up. The weather strips are uh, new and the sill plates are shiny and the door panels in mint condition. It's got the wood grain trim that's all mint. Now the dash pad is mint. The whole instrument panel, the bezels and gauges, all of it's mint. Now we got a few things going on here. We have a rear defroster, which works tachometer, front to rear speaker works, AM FM stereo it works, it's air conditioned, so it's got the extra vents, glove box is all full of owner's manuals and stuff and a light, all nice, carpet, RT mats are real nice, the console's excellent with the slapstick shifter. I didn't mention it has a tough grip wheel. This is an original, so not beat up, but it shows a little age. Now the seat, this is a six-way adjustable seat. It's not power, but you can play with these levers and adjust the seat all different ways. It was born with that. That's on the paperwork. You see the back seat, the seat belts, the side panels, all that's mint. The rear speaker shelf, headliner, dome light, visors, the mirror, everything inside this car looks mint. It feels right, the cushions are good. This is one slick paint job. Wow, this is concourse quality. This is fresh. Uh, factory air conditioned, sitting on the number match, rebuilt 440 motor, correct air cleaner, correct spark plug wires, correct hoses, all the little doodads, the, the plug wire holders, all the uh, clips and clamps and all the components on the firewall. Everything is restored and detailed and proper. Uh, we charged the air. Uh, it even has reproduction stamps on the alternator. <clears throat> Chrysler hose and clamp, Chrysler radiator. Got the overflow bottle. This is a actual Mopar battery, not just a topper sitting on top. Actual battery, all bolted down. Even has the antifreeze tag. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's the fender tag that has all the options and codes listed. <coughs> you can see the entire engine bay is all clean metal, painted beautifully, has the heat riser tubes and shielding, power brakes, power steering. There's also hidden VIN numbers stamped in the engine bay. They match the car as well. A lot of options and the 
shop goes through the cars that I'm sitting in here trying things out. It's AM FM stereo, which works, and stereo it has a front to rear speaker fader, which actually works. The rear defogger works. The gauges are working. Battery's about to die on the camera, so I'm going to make it real quick. The restoration would cost more than we're asking. Go find a number matching red spoiler RT440 uh, and then pay to have it restored. You'll have twice in it is what we're asking for this car. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help you. They can help with delivery and financing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.